quickly show this to you because I've been looking at the head of this horse in great detail. What we're looking at here is the inside of the cheek. So this part here is going towards the front of the mouth end and you can see there's a little bit of pigment in the actual tissue. You can still see a little bit of hide on the back there. Now the teeth were incredibly sharp and I'm going to run a whole video just on the teeth, I think. I'm going to get some advice because all I could tell there was something horribly wrong with these teeth. They were really sharp. They ri actually ripped my gloves when I ran my hand across them. And what is it doing to the inside of the mouth? Well, this is what it's doing. Can you see this here and this here? Now this isn't post-mortem damage and, and we, I haven't done, I haven't made these cuts. These are literally, I took a piece of the, of the inner cheek off so I could do this video because I just thought this was an incredible take home message that the teeth are really important. We can't just ignore the teeth. And this is how the tissue should look. It should be pinkish. It should be um, a, a nice, smooth texture. You can just about see in the light there that it's a lovely, smooth, soft texture. And it's sort of like an even colour. And then you get to this bit here. Can you see how white it is around here and all around here? I mean, this, this whole area is quite white. Now, to be fair, this is a sample that's been... Um, euthanized for three days now. So it might not be as white as this in real life. However, I am seeing distinct differences between this and between this. And this bit and this bit has got these quite deep fissures through them. Now we know that when we get mouth ulcers how painful they are. They're really painful. And I think that to have this sort of damage on the inside of the mouth must cause some pain. Now, these two are actually the two of the, the smaller ones that I found in the mouth. Some of the others are much, much bigger, and I'm going to be videoing those as well. But it's taken me a little while to clean up the skull uh, before I can show it to you, because I'm not going to show it to you with it all bloody and gory and horrible, because that's not what I do. It's got to be pristine and, and I think it just makes better sense to show you good quality photography um, and good quality samples that are not oozing with, with blood and guts and everything. So I'm just going to put my magnifying lens on now and we can have a little look and see a little bit more about what's happening with these, these fissures, these ulcerated, these cuts that are in the inside of the cheek. So this is a close-up view of that first, of the, of, of, of the bigger lesion in the mouth. So that there is the second lesion. You know, that's quite deep, isn't it? I mean, I know it's under magnification, but I wouldn't want that in my mouth. I think it shows up quite nicely how wide the uh, tissue is around that, that um, awful slit. And I think I'd like to have a look and see how deep that actually goes. There, I think what I've done is I've just sort of like squished, squished it all together. And with opening that up, I think, I think I can see very red tissue deep in the bottom of there. Um, is something black let me just get that out you know, that does look incredibly inflamed inside that hole so it's not just a slit it's actually a hole that to me is screaming that there is sensitive tissue in the bottom of that hole and that to me is screaming that that is an ulcer you know, it just it looks like an ulcer <laughs> I don't know what else it could be there were sharp teeth and this is the inside of the cheek. So you tell me what else it could be. <laughs> so I will be I will be showing you the teeth in the jaw and I will be showing you just how sharp they are and what they look like. And like I say, I think I'm going to get some advice on the teeth because I think that they show a particular pattern um, and um, the, you know the hooks and the sharpness of them I think is is very common because um, from what I've learned, the teeth are constantly erupting and they get worn down 
by the silicates and by the grasses that they eat. And because we, in our husbandry, in, in, in modern times, we don't provide enough roughage or silicates to our horses.